Hello everyone. Today I want to talk about something that's very... <coughs> Today I want to talk about something that's very, um... Today I want to talk about something that has been on my mind for a couple of months now. I have been playing this game, League of Legends, for a long time now, about three years. I started in 2015, um, okay, maybe two and a half years. I started on December of 2015, and I just, I just kept playing it. I have multiple uh, collectibles, figurines, everything that has League if you look in my room, there's a bunch of stuff. And I actually showed it in one of my room tours. If you guys watched that. What I want to talk about is why League of Legends is just not as fun anymore. And why I have kind of stopped playing it by myself. And it's not really my first option when I get on my computer like it was before. It's... It's very, it says it's very dynamic, and it is. It's a very dynamic game. Multiple updates about every week or month or year or whatever. But sometimes it gets just really obnoxious, really annoying, and just, you kind of just don't want to touch the game for a week. And then when you come back, let's say you play with some friends, you, you, you suck because it's like, oh, I didn't know that freaking ADCs are garbage now, and assassins are great. But now it's like, the next week you play it, it's like, oh, I can't play Talon anymore because Jinx with full rapid fire just destroys me. Just kidding, that never happens. But it comes to a point where it's like, you gotta, you gotta stop touching it. Now, they have admitted, not really admitted, but they've pretty much shown that the updates are really just for esports. They nerfed Talia because she was just too strong in esports. They nerfed Aurelian Soul, and that's why Aurelian Soul is just not good. But when he first came out, he was a monster. Let me tell you, he was an absolute monster, right? You, you, when Aurelian Soul first came out, they nerfed him, like, the week, like, the two weeks after he was out, because he was just too broken. You're like, oh, it's a Teemo, just build whatever Teemo was weak to. And then you see Aurelian Soul, and it's like, oh, crap. But now it's like, oh, it's a Teemo. Just build whatever team was weak to. And it's like, oh, it's Aurelian Soul. Who the hell is dumb enough to play Aurelian Soul nowadays? It's it's dumb. Right now, I think we're at patch 8 point something point something. I don't remember. I don't really care. But it's kind of like... I, I feel like for me, a lot of updates, it, it kind of kills the game. You look at Minecraft and it's like, yes, I'm bringing up Minecraft. Because I did play it a long time ago. And, you know, they're like, oh, yeah, you got this, you got that. It's like, oh, cool. But then they start updating it and updating it. And it's just the point where it's like, oh, it's, it's, I don't know what to do anymore because you tell me to mine. But then there's like 50 other minerals I don't know what to do. And then, like, you, you, you add birds. Like, apparently you have birds now. And it's kind of like when Binding of Isaac, another good example. They will take things from mod packs and add it, and sometimes it's good, and sometimes it's like, why is this enemy just shooting 50 bullets out of its face at once? It's not fun. And I think that's just how League got. It's it's kind of like, oh, it, re it revolves around a meta. You have like 8 champions, 10 champions that you can play, and it, it, it pisses me off because you'll, you'll see the commercials... And it's like, oh yeah, go pick a champion, welcome to the rift, you know, play whatever you want. And then it's like, wait, the champion sucks. Okay, maybe I'll play, insert a meta champion here. And it's like, oh, they're great, okay, I'll, I'll stick with this. And then, you know, a month later, you're like, wait, I can't play this champion anymore, I have to play this champion now? This champion sucks, I don't like his playstyle, he's stupid. It's, it's dumb. And... This leads me to my final argument, and that's why StarCraft 2 is just more fun and more 
rewarding when you play. Let me explain. When you play StarCraft 2, you usually play 1v1. Because no one else plays 4v4 in Archon, okay? No one. When you when you play, it, it's basically on your yourself, you know? When you play League of Legends as a team game, it's like, oh shoot, Lux is failing and now our mid lane is screwed. When you play StarCraft, it's like, oh, I just didn't make 30 more drones and this guy just kicked my ass with Thor drops. It's different. Now I know, League of Legends, a MOBA, and StarCraft 2 and RGTS is very different in playstyle and um, skill curve, and I'm not good, I'm not really that great at either of them, but at least with StarCraft 2 I saw fun, because it's kind of like a, you know, you you play hard, you have more fun, you know? You know, when you, when you, when you clock your 8 p.m. at 142, it means nothing, but when you win with 142, it's like, oh, cool, you know, my APM was higher because I played better, because I built more drones to build more Zerglings, to build more spine crawlers, to win the games at four minutes. It's, it's kind of like that. Now, when, when League of Legends, when I, at least when I played League of Legends first came out, it was great, you know. There was a certain feel to it that I just didn't want to stop playing it, like a, like a, it was kind of like if, it's kind of like when you find a YouTube channel that you really like its content and you watch all of it in like a long time and you keep watching it and it's like, oh, this is great. But then over time it's like, oh, this guy, this is the, this is, this, this is the only guy's gimmick is just this. Kind of like my videos. So the point what I'm trying to make is that League of Legends just slowly, even though it's supposed to be dynamic, it, it's just slowly becoming more annoying to have to keep up with the meta just because they want to make esports more relevant. With StarCraft 2, I know they had some issues with um Wings of Liberty. I know they had issues with um Heart of the Swarm and I know they had issues with uh Legacy of the Void. And I just started playing StarCraft 2 and I think I started playing about a year ago. Um I've been playing it for about a year ish, I think. I don't know. I've been playing it for a while now. But but the point is, it it just feels good when you hop in a game of um, StarCraft Two, and when you hop in a game of League of Legends in ranked by yourself, it's the most toxic thing you ever play. So just don't play ranked. Go find some friends and play unranked. Now you might think, oh, okay, so it's more of a friend game, and yeah, I agree. But sometimes you'll be like, oh, I want to play this champion. But it's like, that's not meta. You gotta play this champion. It's like, I don't want to play that champion. And then you play it anyways and then one flames you. I've done it before because someone goes like Urgot mid. Or someone goes um, Zed support and says it's good. Or Pike top. Now if you do that, or Pike jungle, if you do that, you suck. Alright, you should stop doing that. I see you. I see you playing any top lane and and zero damage to your mirror. I see you. Don't don't think I don't see you. You gotta stop. All right. If you want to go off meta, go so, do something that is funny. All right. Do something that's as, it's at least entertaining and that if you build it correctly, it's actually funny. You know, if you go like a uh, full rage blade, no, no, they they've reworked rage blade too much. If you go like on hit attack speed bar top lane and you actually do well. That's hilarious, but if you go on hit John a top lane and go 0-17 and you feed a Darius, it's like, dude, the joke is over. It's one of those things that's like, we all know that we're screwed, but at least it was funny, you know? At least your 3-12 and 12 bard is hitting, is pushing, and is like beating the crap out of like siege minions. It's funny, it's, it's freaking funny. With party, it's StarCraft 2, you only play with one more person because no one plays 4v4, okay? No one does. No one plays Archon either. So, in StarCraft 2, yeah, you can get a little salty. You know, why'd you drone rush? Why'd you do that? Huh? Why'd you do that? Their bases are close to each other. You just pull the SCVs, you'll be dead in like 20 seconds. Why would you do that? At the same time, though, if you pull the drone rush off, it'll be like, oh, that was great, you know? 
they didn't know what to do. They split half of their workers to go deal with 16 Predator drones. It was hilarious. And, you know, we all have a good laugh, and it's great. The, and then also, your 2v2 rank, if you're actually serious, then you should probably not be, because it's 2v2s, no one really cares. But when you play 2v2s, it's fun. It's pretty fun. It's like, oh, you, you destroyed this one guy with drones, now it's like a 2v1. It's just more fun, and in my opinion, it's more rewarding to kill a bunch of SCVs with only 16 drones, alright? It's just fun. It's, it's really fun. So, why am I showing my desktop? <laughs> This is this is a ruined video. All right, I'm looking. I'm watching OBS. The point is, it's that that's that's basically my point. It's just something that I just like. I just enjoy better. Now I probably will cut this out. So whatever I said about OBS doesn't really matter. Uh, you'll probably be seeing some StarCraft game footage, but that's just the reason. That's just me talking about why League of Legends is slowly declining in my interest and why StarCraft 2 is just more fun and why you guys should play more. So, hope you guys enjoyed my my opinion video. It's not really as... It's not really usually, like, the type of video I make. Usually I make, like, funny, or like, funny skit videos or whatever. But I thought this was different and I thought I should show my opinion and, um, why... Um, StarCraft 2 is just a really good game, and why League of Legends is still okay, but it's not showing the best thing. Alright, shut up, bottle. Alright, anyways, guys, I just want to say thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.